Welcome back to Panel Day Superheroes Ahoy, my name is Tushar. So today let's review Operation Decay. So Operation Decay, I was waiting for some time for Volume 4 and 5. Uh, I don't think I have reviewed it before. So uh, very briefly, uh, Operation Decay is a 5 volume series. Uh, you can say, uh, call it an event, you can call it a comic book arc from Holy Cow. So Holy Cow you have a uh, uh, lot of characters like, like uh, they have their own holy cow verse holy cow superhero universe so there is desh caster earlier we have spoken about agori so there's a lot of these characters shaitan singh okari uh, ayud so ayud is a character that gets introduced in uh, volume one of operation dk and i'll very briefly talk about these books and then i'll show you some pages of volume four and five so the first book in the series was uh, uh, drawn by Harsho Mohan, written by Ashwin, Ashwin Kalmane. So uh, it's a little different from the other books in the in the series, maybe because of the art. Uh, you know, personally, I found it a little tough to access kind of an origin story. But uh, as you gradually read it and you read it along with the series, then uh, you start liking it. And there's a lot of different uh, elements in the book. It sets up Ayut as a magician character. It's kind of a Constantine. I won't want to directly call it a Indian Constantine because it has a lot of well worked out story details and character arcs. And uh, so he battles supernatural elements like the DK. And uh, there is a thing called Shirshkeet. And uh, so the writing, it gives importance to the dialogue and real people, real life situations. You get a very good urban vibe. A uh, lot of good uh, character interactions, some fight sequences as well. And the Asur and the supernatural elements come in a little slow. And uh, uh, it, the book ends on a hopeful note of a cross, crossover event. So this is uh, Operation uh, DK Volume 1 Ayodh. And uh, let's go to Volume 2 Okari. So Okari, I think it's one of my top two favorites of this whole series. It's a really wonderful book. In this, Ashwin Kalmane uh, fleshes out uh, origin story and of Okari and there is a lot of things happening in this book but mainly we get interaction of Okari with his father which is kind of philosophical, you will be reminded of Ravanayan. Then there is a lot of uh, very detailed, uh, very well researched kind of a setting that is described here. There is an ancient well and there is a well monster, a uh, story of that and uh, I was I really like the Karnataka setting because really do we get such well worked out story and settings. Um, uh, the the art also is uh, uh, is great. It it really paints a good picture, and you see Okari as not a god but a, as a flawed human being. And uh, very quickly you jump into the comic book elements. There's a lot of good action in this, and uh, you really get the get that very gra graphic novel and comic book uh, feel and the vibe uh, is great in this one and a lot of things are happening here there is also a backstory of the well monster and uh, which is really funny there is a arti ar artist called Kora Bhomik he has really done great uh, you'll get a feel of an, an animation kind of genre with some uh, manga kind of uh, elements and it's really funny, uh, there's a lot of good balance of both action sequences, realistic story, dialogue scenes and then uh, your uh, typical superhero uh, elements in volume 2. This is volume 2, uh, jumping on to volume 3. So volume 3 takes does something different, it takes an episodical format. So there is 6 episodes that the uh, book moves uh, through. and. Uh, this uh, basically these work as shorts so shorts anywhere from uh, a village couple battling the birth of a demon to supernatural elements to uh, holy cow characters like uh, desh and Saitan singh uh, coming into the event smoothly there is a lot of intense fighting scenes a couple of them uh, where desh fights with the moon blade so moon blade you can read in the last asuran volume 2 how uh, how it comes to be there's a lot of exposition as it typically happens in the middle of such uh, uh, comic arcs and you are uh, there's a good setup for the grand climax that's about to come so this is volume so this sequence is also pretty great it's like tintin kind of an art you'd be reminded of 
and as you can see there's a lot of great action that is happening here so this all exposition a uh, lot of story development and you're all set for volume 4 and 5 so with volume 4 you jump right into the action now the previous parts have done the hard work of establishing the character arcs the uh, the uh, the so-called dark forces so you can directly jump into the action uh, there's a lot of character banter there is a lot of dark elements like some talk about uh, uh, depression in in superhero characters which is again something Ashwin does he really brings in some really nice real life uh, elements in this comic book telling uh, so there is a there's a lot of monsters of course there's a minotaur type monster we do have Agori and Vikram joining the event there is the concept of a secret door opening where the characters need to transcend. Uh, Okari is still battling his uh, inner demons uh, and uh, Shaitan fights a giant baby and uh, so I'll not really spill out everything but yeah you do have a lot of interesting stuff happening and uh, uh, there is uh, the stakes are very high and there is also a risk of losing you know few characters. Uh, the last part, uh, grand finale, I really loved this one because this uh, uh, really is very satisfying. The last part that uh, should be satisfying of such an arc, you typically get a lot of action. So you do get that. You do get a lot of threats resolved as well. There's a lot of recourse to the earlier parts, which uh, uh, this is the hallmark of a, consist of a writer who brings in consistency through, through a series and you can see the work that has been gone into through the end by the entire holy cow team into this one um, you'll get a lot of pop culture references as well and uh, uh, overall you'll be very satisfied with this arc so this is uh, holy cow the book operation dk volume 5 i cannot say more about this but i can just say that you'll really love it and uh, uh, it's definitely a must read uh, for some reason I don't know with the whole noise of so many other books Holy Cow does get uh, uh, to be a little overshadowed but I feel that Holy Cow books deserve uh, the attention because they are one of the best books that we have comic books that we have currently coming out of India and uh, so I, I think there is some Hindi editions uh, compiled editions being planned I'm not sure Operation DK will come this year but uh, if it comes then it will be really great. I would like to read this in Hindi Hindi as well because these books are great as I have said in the previous videos. Uh, I love to revisit Holy Cow books and they are a very treasured part of my collection. So this is about it. Operation DK Volume 1 to 5 from Holy Cow by Ashwin Kalmane and the entire Holy Cow team. Vivek Goel, Gaurav Srivastava, uh, Abhinash Ghosh, uh, Prasad Patnaik. Harindra Saini. So great work by the team and really a really I, I would say this would be one of my top five uh, in this year already. So great job again holy cow operation DK rocks. Thank you for watching panel days. See you in the next video.